Hi y'all, it's Christina with Stina Resells, and I am back with another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. This one is another fun box. I ordered a lot of fun boxes lately. They're honestly one of my favorite ones to do. Um, I don't have as much time to source as some other part-time resellers do, I feel like, or maybe I'm just not that organized. Anyway, so when I can grab one of the Thread Up boxes, I do. Um, I think the fun box, the designer box, and the rental retirees boxes are my favorite. And I always tend to make like a good return on them. So this box is from, let's see, this one's from Phoenix. And I haven't peeked. I did open the tape at the top. It's got the polka dot paper. And it's 10 items for $32. Yes. Let's see what I got. Hopefully some good stuff. So usually my it's all wrapped up on the inside and then uh, it's got a sticker on top of it. But this was just set on the top. So I'll give you a view inside the box. There, oh, something already fell out. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, What is this? I don't even know what this is. Okay, there's this really soft pink... Um, I don't know if this is a little blanket. I really, and it's got, already got a little pull in it right there. Um, it's obviously new, but it just says accessories, cotton handmade. So I don't know what that is. It is very soft though. Okay. Let's see here. I've got a pair of earrings. Um, potentially new because they're still on the little card very long kind of woven with a tassel at the bottom okay we've got a bracelet gold bracelet let's see if we see a name on it it is a kate spade so it's a kate spade gold bracelet and it's got these um kind of little dot detail on them. That, that's cute. Okay, let's see here. We've got, it says Urban Outfitters on it. I'm assuming these are like a tights of some sort. I don't know, but I'm going to take it out of the box so we can see. It feels like, yeah, like black tights. Okay, the tights. We have got socks, fuzzy socks. These are one size fits all. We've got two of these, which I think that these go on flip flops. Let's see. It says lindsayphillips.com. So it looks like from this picture that you have your flip flop and then you can change the design which is really cool. I used to have some that this piece actually went in through the sole of the flip-flop and then you could change them out. But this is much easier with Velcro right there. So there's a black and white polka dot and then pink, which I've never heard of this Lindsay Phillips. So I'm not sure how popular they are, but I'm sure somebody out there would like them. Okay, what is this? It's a bunny. Look how cute that is. Okay, and just in time for Easter. So we've got a little bunny. Looks like it's got a clip on it. Put it on your bag. Let's see what's in it. Oh, there's... This does something else. I don't know what, but it does something else. I unzipped, and there's something. What is it? It's a bag. Okay. So we've got a reusable bag that goes inside this little bunny. Never seen anything like this before. That is fun. So then I don't know what you clip this to. Maybe your purse so you don't forget to take your bag with you. Like groceries. I don't know. 
That's cute. Okay. We've got a Clinique makeup bag, which is probably, I would guess, like a gift with purchase, right? That. And then we've got, looks like there's one more thing in the bottom. This large brown, probably not leather, um, handbag. Although the style is cute, right? Kind of boho. Uh oh, is the zipper broken? Probably. Yes, the zipper is broken on this front pocket right here. Let's see if I see any like details of what kind of bag this is. I don't see anything. Um, oh, it's a backpack. Backpack bag. So that's cute. Um, again, it's definitely not real leather. And there is some, I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like some cracking um, right here on this handle. So, and like I said, I don't see a brand name or anything. But, you know, someone might be looking for a backpack to just take on a trip one time or two. And then here we've got a watch. I know very little about watches, except that it, like a Rolex is nice. I know that. Okay, let's see what this says. Skagen. I feel like I've heard of that before. So maybe that's a decent watch. It's very petite, and uh, it's really pretty. It's not moving, so maybe it needs a new battery. So maybe I'll get a new battery put in it and sell that. I've at least heard of Skagen before, so that's that's good. Well, thank you for joining me. I feel like that went really fast, but um, maybe the watch is a standout item. The backpack's cute, but not a brand name. I think this is totally adorable, but I don't know how much I personally would actually use that. And uh, Kate Spade bracelet, flip-flop covers, and if anyone knows what this is, please let me know in the comments below because I'm not sure. Anyways, well, thanks for joining me today. If you guys haven't done a thread up box before, a rescue box, they're really fun. I would recommend it. And if you can find um, a fun box when one's up, uh, especially if you've not done one before. I think the fun boxes are not as big of an investment um, since they're $32. Um, and I have a link below that will give you um, money off if to, when you sign up for an account. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. See you guys next time. Bye.